where are we Tracy? So we've just landed in uh, Bologna and got a taxi from the airport. We should probably just take you back a little bit because we actually set off yesterday to go to Manchester and stay overnight. Um, it wasn't the easiest journey, we had quite a lot of flooding in Sheffield, um, loads of roads closed, we went, took us an hour to get one way and then ended up going all the way towards back where we live before we could go on a different route, so it took us, I think it was about three hours in total to drive the distance, it should have been about an hour. Um, but we managed it fine, the flight was good, um, the hotel looks nice but we can't check in so we're going to go off and find out what we can do. So, as Tracy said, we just got here. The plan is to go to Verona today. I'm really excited about that. Um, I've never been. Uh, it's apparently a really interesting city. Obviously, the first thing for me that strikes is the, the Shakespeare history. So, you talk about Romeo and Juliet, the gentleman of Verona, things like that. I've also seen lots of uh, really nice pictures about some fantastic uh, historical buildings. They've got some kind of uh, Rona Arena around, it's a little bit like a Colosseum. They've got some magnificent piazzas, a few beautiful towers, a Duomo, and a few nice parks and things. So we're looking forward to seeing some really beautiful Italian architecture. Where have we got to, Trace? So we got out of the train station at Verona and we've walked about 15 minutes um, and we're now in sort of what looks like the central area of the old town um, so we're just having to walk around to see what we can find. Okay, what can we see over there? Uh, so there's a really old building that looks like an arena. Um, I did see a picture of it before, I'm not sure what the name of it is but we'll, we'll pop it in the details. Arena de Verona. <laughs> there you go. So we're going to go and take a look and then find something to eat. Where are we, Tracy? So we've just come off a little side street and we've come to where Juliet's balcony is. So it's a bit crowded but it's really nice and there's a wall that's full of little post-it notes and letters that people have written, so little love notes, so we can have a look at some of those. And then behind Paul there's another one where people have been putting padlocks and little love messages on padlocks. So it's really nice. And there also seems to be a lot of gum on the wall, which reminds me of when we were in Seattle a little bit. I don't know why there's so much gum, I think it would be nice without. But it's, it's a nice little place to see. Do you think it's romantic? Um, if it was quieter, yes, it would be lovely. <laughs> Do I think it's romantic? No, I think it's a bit of a tourist trap really, unfortunately. But it is kind of cool, because apparently Shakespeare did base it on this.
so we just arrived in a place called Piazza del Elbe uh, here in Verona and uh, it's a beautiful piazza which you're gonna see in just a second from a hopefully elevated view um, dominate in the piazza is, is something called the Torre di Lambetti we're gonna climb to the top it's a fantastic 368 steps we just had pizza for lunch so probably a good idea really isn't it let's go Hundred and seventy steps nearly later, we're at the top. It's an absolutely amazing view, you can see all out across the city. We can see the the, uh, the Verona Arena, which is a little bit like the Colosseum in Rome, albeit a little bit smaller. We can see all the magnificent tiled roofs. Oh my god, my thigh muscles are killing me, but it's an absolutely fantastic view. It's great because you can look down into all the little streets and all the little piazzas and things. So many lovely like uh, pale kind of soft pastel colors and everything. It's really really beautiful. It's hard work to walk on but it's really good. Uh, you can take the elevator but in all honesty what fun would that be? I mean you know don't just don't walk. It's brilliant um, but it's hard work. I don't think Tracy necessarily agrees with me there but it is good fun. Okay. Okay, so we're at a place that I hadn't really thought too much about before we came. We're on the Castel uh, Vecchio Bridge. Um, there's a little bit of a fort castle kind of area here. Um, you see the pictures, like I always love before I come on a trip anywhere to go on Google, use the images to have a look at places. And you see the pictures for this bridge, and it just looks like a regular sized bridge. But it's actually pretty massive, and you imagine it's very, very old. It's very like from the medieval times. Um, it's really impressive, it's really cool. Great views up and down the river. And behind me you've got a fantastic castle type tower thing. I'll be honest, as it wasn't on the list of my things to see, um, a few of the piazzas we've seen already and the tower I'd seen already, this wasn't really on my list because it didn't look that good. But um, yeah, it's really good. But I couldn't tell you all that much about it, unfortunately. But it is really nice, it's really worth a visit. We've enjoyed it a lot. Trace, where are we now? So we've just left the bridge and walked for about five, 10 minutes and we've come to Verona Arena. So we paid 10 euros each to come in and we're gonna take a look around and show you what we find. What's it supposed to be like? I believe it's supposed to be like um, the amphitheatre in Rome, but I've never been there, I think Paul has. Um, the amphitheatre in Rome is called? The Colosseum. <laughs> so we'll see if we compare as well. Okay, so we're inside the, uh, the Verona Arena, which is a little bit like the Colosseum, as uh, Tracy just informed us. It's nice, it's cool. It's a little bit underwhelming. Um, smaller than the one in Rome by a long, long way. Um, it's fantastic because it's Roman. Um, and the acoustics are really good. You can kind of hear the sound reverberating around, but it does look a lot better from the outside than it does from the inside. However, 
if you envisage yourself as Russell Crowe, kind of like stabbing somebody a little bit and blood spurting, it does feel kind of cool to be down here where there are gladiators and such. Yeah, it's all right. There's only 10 euros to get in and it's genuine Roman history, so it's kind of cool. Hard work. So, breathless again. I just climbed to the top. Lazy Bones Tracy is down on the, the floor. She didn't want to come. It's quite a walk, big steps. Um, but it's a really cool view down. Looks a lot better from the top than it does at the bottom. The bottom, I don't think you quite get the scale. Um, when you get to the top, people below you look really, really tiny. But here's hard work. My thighs are dying today after going up the, the bell tower. Yikes. But it's cool, it's interesting. Woo! I've still not quite got my breath back from the <laughs> from walking all the way up and then all the way down. One of the cool things we do like about it here though is you've got the uh, the big arena, the the Colosseum type stuff, but what's really cool is you've got all the stuff underneath, uh, lots of corridors and little passageways and stuff. And it's really for for the want of a better word, it's really dank and, and like and claggy and clammy. There's lots of water dripping and it gives it a really atmospheric feel. Um, yeah. I can maybe imagine what it would be like back there like 2,000 years ago. Yeah, it's kind of fascinating. 